Just off the top at 4 o'clock this afternoon, the Florissant Police Chief has fired the detective seen in this video hitting a suspect with his patrol car. Also, for the first time, we are learning the now former Florissant detective's name is Joshua Smith. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Claire Kellett. We want to get right out to News 4's Alexis Soto. So Alexis was at that press conference that just wrapped up within the last half hour. Claire, the Florissant police chief says he has been listening and talking to protesters who have been outside the police department here for the last several days, but that this decision to fire Detective Joshua Smith comes after a careful review of the incident itself, saying that there were multiple violations seen. Joshua Smith was a nine-year veteran of this department. He is the one, according to the police chief that you see in this ring camera video, striking a man with his car and then kicking and hitting him when he's on the ground. The police chief said the video is upsetting and disturbing and that the actions are not appropriate. The chief said this isn't the end of the investigation. There is an internal investigation on why it took several days for the chief to be made fully aware of how this all went down. I'm not going to stand here and make a single excuse for anything that occurred that night, including the breakdown in communication. I will only say to you that there were a lot of moving parts that evening, you know, and, and just some perspective from you. The, the command post that was established at the time was running out of a facility here in the city of Florson, and there were a lot of moving parts. Um, I should have known there is no excuse. Um, so, you know, it's again something that we're going to have to dig further into as far as our internal review goes. So the other two officers that were in that car remain on paid leave tonight. The chief says at this point there does not appear to be wrongdoing on their part. Now a lot of people want to know what is happening with the criminal investigation. Will this detective face criminal charges? That is out of the hands of the Florissant and Police Department. That will be the decision of the outside agencies who are investigating. That includes St. Louis County Police Department, the St. Charles County Prosecutor's Office, as well as the FBI. Reporting live, Alexis Soros, News 4.